Earlier I spoke with Simo Hirsch, the investigative journalist uh, who wrote the New Yorker magazine article. I asked him whether U.S. President George Bush really is planning to launch an attack on Iran. Uh, he's very radical, this president. He's probably the most radical president we've ever had. And what makes him, in my book, very dangerous, that he's, he's completely uneducable. You know, he still thinks Afghanistan is okay, Iraq's okay, and the Iranians have a nuclear bomb, no matter what the intelligence community says. So I don't think, if he decides to go, I think in, he'll think in the long run he's doing what's best for the world and, even if, and for America. And even if though he's not appreciated now, he will be in 20 years. But this is, is the kind of talk he gives. Isn't there any serious consideration from within the administration and the different departments of the serious consequences a strike could have on Iraq? Uh, of course. That's why people like me get the information I do. There are people inside who say we've got to do everything we can to make it harder for him to get this going. And so this, by telling about the special operations, the intent was not to put our, any of our, our fellow Americans in jeopardy in the field. And I was very careful of before I turn in this story. I t I get the people read it to make sure there's nothing dangerous, but to let the American people know how far he's gone and how incompetent Congress has been. The Democrats in Congress did not stop this, which is pretty amazing. And is Pentagon under serious pressure to possibly stage such a strike in the remaining six months of this administration? It's not a question of pressure. They've been practicing for three years. They've been looking at this and planning this. So they're all lined up. And they're military men. Whatever their private views are, and many of them are very much against it, there are also many for it. But there's no question, as I wrote in the article, that the chairman of the Joint Chiefs has said he's against it, Gates has said he's against it, as perhaps as at least 10 senior admirals and generals are against it. We know that from the inside. But he's still president. And, and the main aim is what at this stage? Is it really trying to curb the nuclear program of the Iranians or regime change? Well, it's always been regime change. They'd always love to see a democracy flourish in Iran, never mind the country has been there, you know, as long as Germany and France, you know, the Persians. Um, it's not a tribal society. Uh, the main, I think the president and, and the vice president truly believe that the Iranians have bombs or will get them soon, no matter what their own intelligence agency says. And they truly believe they have the capability, and they say so privately with Hezbollah, to come to America and put bombs in New York and Washington. This has literally been the conversation inside. And that's their ultimate fear. And so they think they're acting to save us. And so does a strike look more or less likely if McCain or Obama Oh my God, president? it's clearly that if Obama is elected, that, 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 makes, uh, that makes any thought they have about doing a strike before they leave office much greater. If with McCain elected, I think the president would believe, so I've been told, that McCain, who's basically on board with all of this, McCain would do it, he could do it whenever the time is ripe after he's elected. That's okay. They're handing over the stewardship of, the, of America to the right people with McCain. Obama would 